Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, it's a new month. It's a new month. We thank God for life. Thank God for living. Um, you know, we, with every day that goes by, when people say, when people say, um, you know, you need to thank God that you saw a new day. I think a lot of us take it for granted. I think a lot of us actually do, don't do. <laughs> I think a lot of us actually do take it for granted and um, we don't understand the miracle in waking up it's a big deal it's a big deal so hey guys listen it's November you're still here you know you're still alive you're still you see have the opportunity to make mistakes I love mistakes guys I did my new my new relationship with mistakes is very very unique right you still have the opportunity to make mistakes and regret those mistakes how wonderful for god to deem you fit to be alive at this time right there's so many people who have passed who are planned towards today but they cannot see today so you're special if nothing else makes you feel special the fact that you woke up just remember that you're special um i wanted to talk about your mind your mind two months to the end of the um, two months at the end of the year and we, um, we, we're still not, a lot of us, let me not speak generally, but we're still not in a position where we understand what our mind can do. And I think I gave this analogy once, um, during one of my lives, but let me do it again this morning. What you focus your mind on is what you become. What you focus your mind on is the energy you're going to attract is what is going to end up making up your being making up your actions your thoughts your deeds it's it, or your sorry your words and your deeds it's it's a given it's a given um I, I i think i came on once in my life and i had learned this thing about you know the negative so for example i'm gonna do a quick exercise everybody close your eyes for a few seconds close your eyes for a few seconds now i don't want you to think of an elephant standing in front of a red gate. I don't want you to think of that. Think of anything else, but please do not think of an elephant standing in front of a red gate. Now open your eyes. What did you think of? <laughs> you thought of the exact thing that I told you not to think of. Be honest with yourself. That thing that I told you not to think of is what you thought of because that is what is in your mind. Even though it's the negative, I said, don't think of an elephant standing in front of a red gate. But the fact that I put don't in front doesn't mean that that's not what formed the image in your mind. You are what you think, guys. You are what you dwell on. You are what you dwell on. Whatever it is that you feed your mind is what you become. That <laughs> page said you got me. It's, it's a given. We're human beings. That's the way, you know, our minds work. That's where our minds operate right if every time you wake up in the morning and the first thing you're thinking of man kai gosh i'm so broke man i'm broke i don't even know what to you are feeding your mind you are feeding your mind absolutely miss tema please tell your husband that he's a correct somebody <laughs> you're feeding your mind you wake up in the morning you say hi that my guy in the office that doesn't like me at all. He doesn't like me. If I come in, I greet him. He will not answer me. You're feeding your mind. You are feeding your mind. So let me tell you something that I realized. You know how annoying it is. Those of you that grew up in church, the pastor will say, when you have a headache, don't say, I have a headache. You say, oh, I'm very strong. Ah, at a point, that thing used to annoy me. But I'm now at the point where I understand it. I understand it. Guys, listen to me. This one. In fact, I'll do another live on headaches because I lived almost 30 years of my life, over 30 years of my life with headaches, with migraines. Have you realized that when you have a headache, sometimes you even forget you have a headache until your mind goes to it. Someone comes and says, oh, how is that your headache? Ah, the headache could just, could just hold you. <laughs> it could just hold you. Because your mind has just been brought back to that headache. We have to change our thinking. We have to change. I swear to you, what you think of is what you become. It forms your thoughts 
You, it forms your deeds, your words, your actions. That's what forms it. It starts from here. Ah, I'm going for I'm going for this event to ah, I'm going to now look scruffy. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to look scruffy. Because that's what you've told your mind. Your body doesn't understand the negative. As a man thinks, so he is, Nadia, you're so right. Your mind doesn't know how to think negative. I don't know where we learned it from. You know, as children, you start hearing, no, don't do that. It's your no, no. I think, you know, we begin to think no is a thing. Your body doesn't know negative. I'm telling you, you have to, you have to learn, you have to learn to feed your mind. But it's not easy. This thing I'm telling you like this is not easy. But it's the way your body works. It's the way your mind works. And you know that if you want to forge on, you have to first of all work your mind. You cannot not think of an elephant in front of a red gate simply because I say, do not think of an elephant in front of a red gate. As a matter of fact, that is exactly what you're going to think of. So please, please, guys, um, I've just come to tell you, two months till the end of the year, it is possible. Don't let anybody, when I say anybody, I mean even circumstances. You're going to the boss of, there's no boss there. You tell yourself, I'll soon be home, a boss will come soon. You they wait for boss, or boss never come. You say, a boss will soon come. A boss will come. I'll sit down in front of the boss, I'll be cozy. Feed your mind positive. If there's anything around you that seems to be negative, I beg you, remove yourself from that situation. Remove yourself from the situation. I'm someone that is, I, I love the news. I like to watch news. But I realize that every time I'm in the news, it's always negative, negative. It, every time, hi, Versace, my childhood friend is here, Shagun. Every time I watch the news, every time I'm on social media, it's negative, negative, negative. Hell no, not me. I've, I've, I've run away from that. My mind must be fed with positive. Everything I talk to my children, it's all positive. This morning I was saying to my, my daughter, I said, um, I was going to brush her hair before school. And I said, oh, your hair is going to tangle. She said, mommy, that's negative. I said, I'm sorry, my darling, you are right. I'm sorry, your hair will not tangle. <laughs> right? So please, 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 that's all I came to say to you. From now till the end of the year, be positive. Whatever dreams you have, put actions behind it, but be positive. Whatever your thoughts, whatever it is that you're good, just be positive. No matter how the things around you are coming, no matter how they're turning, be positive. Your body understands positive. Your body doesn't understand negative. Thank you so much, Solin King. I love you. I love you. Your body doesn't understand negative. So don't put your body in a position or a situation to feed it with negativity. Don't ever feed your body with negativity. The only thing your body understands is... See, that negative or positive, that addition or subtraction that we put in front of whatever we do, the body doesn't understand it. Think of somebody that is driving. When you are driving, they usually say, stay on the road, stay on the road. If I start saying to you, don't hit that building, don't hit that building, your mind will go to the building. You are driving, you say, oh, Fuma say, don't hit the building. You are no longer focused on the road. You are now focused on the building. Oh, Fuma say, I should not hit the tree. Ah, don't hit the tree. All you are focused on, focused on is the tree. But if I say, keep your eyes on the road. Keep your eyes on the road. I remember when, you know, my kids started playing tennis and we're coaching them. The only things, I, and I, I say that to them now when I coach them. The coach always says, keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball. The, the, the coach doesn't say things like, your opponent wants to hit or else you start thinking instead of keeping your eye on the ball you think oh my opponent wants to put the ball where i won't hit it so you focus on the wrong things your mind your mind your mind let me not waste your time this morning guys please make sure that your mind is always positive always feed your mind positive your mind cannot comprehend the negative at all your body's incapable you're made in god's image you don't understand that you are a god you are a god god has made you in a way that you think like him your body doesn't understand negative. Stop feeding your mind the negative. And if you're in any situation that is negative, please remove yourself from that situation. You're not doing yourself any good at all. All right? I love you guys so much. Have a blessed day. Make sure that you go and kick ass this week. Let's win. All right? I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>